This here is a visualization of these three books made using Infernodos.com text network analysis and visualization app. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works. So here we have a visualization of these three books of Yaval Sarari, uh, Deus, Sapiens and 21 Lessons. And we can see what those books are about using the graph. So it identifies the main topics inside and the relations between them. Every word that is used in this text is a node. Every co-occurrence is the relation. We build a graph and then we identify the main topics. So we see that he's writing a lot about world war global. So global war in the world. Then he's writing about how people believe in something and live with it. Then human history, AI. So the third topic, the fourth topic, story, life, identity. We have more topics identified here. And we can then get a clear understanding of what this book is about. War, people, society, history, uh, human life, religion, identity. Then we can also click on show categories and use the AI um, that generates uh, taxonomies based on those topics. So we can get a more general zoom out view. We see that he's writing about religion, spirituality, internet, technology, and politics. So here we get a general understanding of what this text is about. We also have other text mining elements here, such as trends of topics, how they evolved, statistics, so all the main nodes uh, and all the metrics, sentiment, positive, neutral, negative, how, how this text feels like somehow. Then we have a very much in-depth insight panel into the network structure of the text, so for those who are interested in the narrative variability. And then we finally can also explore the relations between the different topics. So for example, if I'm interested here in the notion of AI, if I click on that notion, I will see what other nodes it's connected to in the network. So for example, AI human, and then what else is there? Ability. So I click on AI human ability, I see that it's connected to the words like create and make here in the analytics panel. So I understand that he's talking about creativity and making something using AI and human abilities. But I can also click here and see in which context those terms are actually used in the books. So I can get a more in-depth insight on this topic from the book itself using this non-linear way of getting into the discourse through the graph, actually. You see, I started from the periphery here, AI, and then somehow infiltrated into this discourse on the topic that was interesting for me. And that's also when I can start exploring some ideas based on that. So I can use the built-in AI feature here that looks at what is selected in the graph and then proposes me to use GPT-3 AI content generation tool to come up with some interesting facts or research questions for those who like to criticize AI that it's thinking for you. This one also can generate questions for you. So you have to do the work of actually answering those questions. But it can also give you some answers like it does here. And then I can start saving them into the graph to start building my own discourse on top of this already existing one. And here it's highlighted the thought I added, how it fits into the graph. So then another interesting feature here is that I can deselect all those nodes and go into the gap insight in the analytics panel here on the right. And then it shows me the two different topics in the discourse that could be connected but are not very well connected and proposes me to think of a research question. So I can start questioning this text again, but from the place that would link two topics that are somehow not so well connected. So whatever I come up with would be relevant because it touches upon the subjects that exist in this discourse, but also offers something new because it connects them in a new way. And there I can think myself or I can use the AI again and ask it to generate some interesting research questions in relation to this structural gap here. All right, so I go here and then I click on generate facts again and it will generate some interesting facts that connect those two different topics that exist in this discourse in a new way, thus offering a new link. So here I'm saving this idea, for instance, something about religious affiliation and liberal democracy. I can also generate more facts and see if there is anything else that is interesting for me, change the AI module. I can even edit the query and ask uh, what are the implications of AI on human mythology, for instance. Then I can generate a fact that would answer to that question somehow in a new way. Okay, create myths that teach people about important topics. So a little bit practical somehow, but let's add this idea into the graph. So as you can see, I'm creating on top 
and uh, bridging those different gaps together at the same time. So this is how from getting a general overview of the topics, you also get to the part of where you can actually start creating on top of the existing text. So you can analyze it, analyze all the re relations inside, and then also have your own ideas filtered here out so you can see what you've been adding on top of the graph and how it's different from whatever it is that already existed there. So you start writing your own discourse on top. And then one other thing that I would like to demonstrate, and for this we will just reload this graph once again. Sometimes uh, it's worth doing it also with big graphs like that that contain several books just to reset everything. There is also a button here on the right that does it. And now what I wanted to do is to show a little bit more in-depth of how we would actually read through this text in a different way. So here we have the graph and in the stage before we just analyzed what are the main topics inside. Now we have an understanding. It's talking about war, global war, people believing into something, human history, AI. Now we want to get a little bit in depth and look what are the other topics that exist inside. So we select those nodes that are already familiar to us, we hide them from the graph and we see the network, the context around them. So now we see that he's talking a lot about story of nation and that is even connected to God. So we see that there is something about religious narratives that we didn't see before so much, but now it pops in. So we can also then add this as an idea, just like that, into the graph. Or we can also use the AI feature to generate some content in relation to those ideas that we just selected uh, and to link them in some new interesting way. So for example, here it proposes us to think of a research question in relation to story, God, nation. What is the role of storytelling in religious national identity formation? Okay, that can be an interesting question. We can add it into the graph. So as you can see, it's an iterative process. I analyze the text and then uh, I cut off all the things that uh, I already know to get to the parts that I don't know. So here I see that it's a lot about making decision, political power, story, belief, nation, what we had before. So I get more in-depth on all the topics and I start exploring them in a similar way showing categories here that identify what are the general names for those categories, looking at the connections between them. So here it's a lot about politics and technology again, but on a more detailed level, I would say. And then I can click on those nodes that I find interesting to see in which context they appear. And if I have any new interesting ideas, I add them here into the graph and save them here so that they can appear inside. And then again, in the end, like I showed before, you can also filter them out. So if I just want my ideas, I would go here. And then I have the ideas that were added, shown in the general discourse. So this one was about AI. This one was about storytelling. Then I can come back to the original graph. So this is how it works. Try it out on infranotice.com with your own books, texts, uh, spreadsheets, or customer reviews, any other data. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you.